Hey guys, Woody here, and welcome back to a special bonus tactics video. Yes, tactics. Uh, we're coming to the end of FM22, so probably all the tactics have been done, but I get you, bet you, bet you this one hasn't been done. But before we get into that, if uh, you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, and you you might fancy doing that, that would be nice. Getting to 300, you can help me do that. Tap the notification bell. Uh, got a uh, Road to Glory save with Chatham Town, and some uh, retro Chant Man 01 and 2 stuff happening as well. So go and check that all out. Don't forget to smash that like button and uh, check a comment down there. Before you watch this, let me know how you think this tactic is going to go. Right, so, like I said, getting to the end of FM 22, and probably most of the tactics have sort of been done by now, but I bet you, I bet you no one's done a tactic like this one. This is, prepare yourselves. You might want to strap yourselves in for this tactic. I call it silly positions. It is, bear with me here, bear with me. So uh, I, I basically picked all the really kind of weird positions that we don't, that maybe don't get a, a really good run out in, uh, in, in FM 22. Obviously it has to be strikerless. So uh, we've, we've gone for that. Now I'm gonna run you through this, run you through the, uh, the descriptions there. Now, the best thing about this video is I have not tested this tactic. Yes, I'm Man City. This is an updated database. We don't have uh, Erling Haaland, just a, you know, run in the mill, start of the uh, original game. But the reason why I did pick Man City is because I thought this could bomb and um, hopefully I won't get sacked. But if it does really bomb, then I probably will get sacked. So maybe I should run it as someone else. But anyway, so I have not seen how this is going to go, but let's run through it uh, before we see how it's going to go. So, uh, in goal, we have a sweeper keeper on attack. Uh, he has, oh, no, no, he has no other uh, instructions there. We then have a libero on support, because I think that's the only thing you can give them. You can put them on attack. Uh, we'll put him on support, just because we don't want to go too crazy. We've got a wide centre-back, so obviously that new central position. Uh, I did play them in the um, in the in the beta with my leads uh, save, and I think they worked all right, but since then haven't really used it and probably no one else has. But this time I put them on attack. So they're going to be a lot more, you know, firing up the pitch. We've got a halfback in the DMC role on defend. Um, so, yeah, a couple, of, we, we've got some of the other ones here. I was tossing up between a halfback and an anchor. Um, but I decided to go for the halfback. Uh, he's on defend. None of these positions have any more actual instructions. They're just kind of the ones they give to. We have then got a register on support. A uh, Segundo Volante on attack. So get further forward for him. Like I said, take more risk, roam from positions. Nothing changed there. We've got our roaming playmaker on support. So take more positions, roam, take more risks and roam from positions. So we're gonna have a, that's why I wanted the halfback here on defend. Maybe it should be an anchor. We'll leave it as a halfback. I'm going to keep trying to flick between that one. Behind them, we have the old Ngonch. Dribble left, take more risks, hold position. So yeah. He's going to, I guess, sort of hold up the ball here and hopefully players are going to end up in here and score goals. That's kind of my plan, but I, I've never used an Ngonch. I don't think, apart from the wide centre-back, um, yeah, I don't think I've used any of these positions. I've certainly not used them on attack. Maybe in my early days in my journeyman in Iceland, I think one of my guys was better as an attacking midfielder as an Ngonch, and I played him there, but... That's it. And then on the left and on the right, we've got the Ramdoita, or the Space Invader. Space Investigator, I believe. So pass it short, cross it last off, and get further forward. Sit now, removing the channels, run from position. And he's the same. Now, I did toss up here with playing a wide target forward. But, yeah, I don't know. So I've decided, I feel like the the, the Ramdoita there is, is a bit more kind of balanced. So that's that's what I've gone for there. Uh, we're, we're positive, because I think positive is one of the best. We're, we're we're fairly narrow as, you know, well, are we going to be fairly narrow? Yeah, we're going to be fairly narrow. I'm going to pass them into space. I'm going to play out from the defense. We're going to focus through through the middle and underlap on the left and right. We're going to work the ball into the box. Um, slightly more direct, very high tempo, play for set pieces. And yeah, that's pretty good. Transition, we're going to counter press and press, distribute quickly and distribute to the center backs. And then out of the possession with a much higher line of engagement, standard defensive width, get stuck in, Prevent short goalkeeper distribution, use tight marking, and trigger more often. Let's quick pick, um, quick pick without restriction, the best 11. So this is how the team looks at the moment. Uh, at the best 11, Edison, Goal, Diaz, and Stones are those wide centre-backs. They still have like four stars, Johnstone's three. Amaric Laporte in that libero role with four stars. 
I played Gundogan in the Regista, Fernandinho as the uh, Segundo Volante, Rodri in that half-back position. They're still really, really high. Kevin De Bruyne in that roaming playmaker at four and a half stars. He's got an injury. How long is that for? I don't think it's very long, is it? For three to five weeks. Anyway, Sterling on the left, Silver on the right in those Ram Deuters, and then Jack Grealish as the Ingonch. Still got players like of Phil Foden, Gabriel Jesus. Um, I don't know where... Uh, Riyad Mahrez, obviously, out on the left. Um, Zinchenko. Uh, so uh, some, some decent players there, which, you know, will will be able to, to, to fit in. I'm... I'm not going to put in any positions. I just want the assistant manager to do whatever the hell he wants. He can try and pick up this. Let's have a look at the analysis and see. Um, well, hold on. What kind of click? Oh, no, we've got a, we, we, we got a quick pick for the analysis. Okay. Um, just get the... Right, analysis. So we're really, really struggling at the back here. We have a high negative influence um here and here we have a high negative influence here low positive yeah so we're going to struggle down the left and the right here so if they play really wide we're going to we're going to struggle and then obviously up the front here um we are going to struggle as well but i, I don't know i i think oops i think it could do bits it's probably not going to do bits is it anyway we're going to clear that entire team selection we're going to leave it as it is. we're going to go on holiday and um I probably think we're going to come back at the end of the season and I'm going to be sacked, but we'll see in a bit, eh? Right, we're back. So, a couple of things. Um, still in charge of Man City, so I guess it couldn't have been too bad. Now, I haven't seen anything because I kind of, like, came in and just clicked on finances, but... Surely I've qualified in at least the top six or seven. Surely European football is on the cards, and surely it's going to be Champions League. So let's go and click on competitions and find out what happened. Third, knocked out in the Champions League, quarterfinal FA Cup, lost the quarterfinal Carabao Cup, won the Community Shield, and then the Euro Cup second round. So that's a disappointing run in Europe. League's pretty good, though. Third, hello, though. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Wow. At one point... Man City were 19th, and then how did I not get fired here? And we started picking it up. One all draw with Southampton, beat Burnley 6 1. Lost to Leeds 4 1. <laughs> so this looks to be the turning point around uh, the 22nd of January. Did we bring any players in, did we? Um, no. No players came in. And no players really came out. So that's interesting. So let's go and have a look at the schedule. Oh, wow, it was an absolutely abysmal start. That's terrible. No wonder we were 19th. Got an absolute, I was going to say, it was an absolutely shocking September. It was a shocking October and a shocking November. December wasn't too bad. It was only a loss to Tottenham there and Everton in that quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup. But I guess uh, th this, so the turn of the year is where it really turned. Really turned. Three draws in the league. No, that's not even in the league. That's in the FA Cup. So only two draws in the league. Wins against Leeds, Burnley, Leicester, Liverpool. Getting through the Europa League first knockout phase. I lost to Chelsea. Okay. Burnley, Norwich. That was Burnley in the FA Cup. 3-1, then 3-0. That's disappointing. Beating West Ham and losing to Manchester United 4-0 in the quarterfinal. That's disappointing. But then a great run towards the end of the season. A lot of clean sheets in there. And not looking too bad. So I'm actually very, very quite, very surprised at how that's that's gone and, and done. Let's have a look at the um, stats-wise. Goals. Raheem Sterling, 21. De Bruyne, 17, 16, 10, 13, 10. Okay. 28 goal contributions from Jack Grealish. A lot of assists here from like Bernardo Silva as well. Gabriel Jesus, 10 and 9. Rodri, 8 and 10. Phil Foden, you know, bad, the average rating. Ruben Diaz and Laporte. So the centre-back's doing bits. John Stone. So the defence really, really doing. It's more of the attackers who aren't doing that well. Very, very interesting there. So apart from Raheem Sterling, it's really the defenders who are doing, doing pretty well. Nathan Ake with a 7.3. Okay. All right, very, very interesting. Third, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I thought it would, 
I, I still can't believe at one point we were 19th and I didn't get sacked. I didn't get sacked. Very, very strange. What's the club vision looking like? Disappointed. So I've got an E. So I didn't sign high reputation players. Yeah, we failed in a lot of things, but I still kept my job, amazingly. So, hmm, interesting. Shh. They want to win the Premier Division. FA Cup final. Win the Euro Cup. Yeah, probably. So the tactic's not great, I think. I think what we need to do is a little bit more investigation here. I think it might be a case of taking a, um, maybe a Brentford. That might be a good pick. We might take Brentford and do this whole experiment again. So I'm just going to rewind and um, run the season with Brentford and see what happens. Right, and we're back and 15th with Brentford. Wow. Pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pre pretty close to relegation. Six points off. Fourth round of the FA Cup and third round of the Carabao Cup. Um, Sort of average. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how this tactic has worked. I thought it would absolutely bomb. I mean, obviously we didn't do as well as Man City, but, you know, it's Man City. But still, you know, um, Saman Godos there with 21 goal contributions, 17 for Canos, 16 for Brian Mbuemo. The disappointing thing is Ivan Tony did not play one game which I did try and train him out on the right as a Ram Deuter, but um, I don't think it, it worked quite because he kind of could have done it. So I feel like if they had played him a bit better, uh, they, they may have done a lot better. And obviously with Christian Eriksen uh, only being allowed to play a few games, I couldn't quite get him. But average rating-wise, you can see Pontus Jans Janssen and David Ray are getting over a seven here. Uh, both defenders, or goalkeeper and defender. We have the same thing with Man City, a lot of defenders getting... My average ratings as well. So interesting to see. Interesting. I <laughs> I may use this tactic. I probably won't, but it would be pretty damn cool. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want to see me, um, you know, any more videos where I use this tactic and any more teams and see what can happen. I might I might go in and, and tweak it a touch and, and see what we can do. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video on a pretty crazy tactic. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.